What's up, YouTube folks? I uh, know it's been a while since I made a video, but it's been probably 2,300 miles since my uh, last video where I checked how much oil the UPR catch can that I have collected. And the biggest response that I got was, next time let's measure it, which is, duh. I don't know why I didn't do that. So I'm gonna go to Publix and try to buy some sort of graduated cylinder so I can measure this stuff uh, and we'll get an exact mileage. So thanks for watching. All right, first we'll see how many miles it's been since the last time that I checked this and emptied this catch can. I reset my trip here. So what we've got is 2,270 miles, we'll say six miles uh, since the last time that I emptied out the catch can. And I figure there's one or two people that's watching this video. A, you're trying to figure out whether or not you need a catch can. How much does a naturally aspirated car, you know, really dump into the engine uh, blow-by-wise from the PCV? Well, I can go ahead and tell you it's a lot. Uh, and you can continue to watch the video to see how much that we get, but it's a pretty good amount. Uh, and you need a catch can because oil in your intake lowers the effective octane of your fuel. If you lower your effective octane of the fuel, your engine's gonna experience knock a little sooner, which means it's gonna pull timing, which means that it's pulling power. So, hey, even natural aspirated, I say you need a catch can. The second type of person is, hey, they wanna figure out, they already have a catch can, and they wanna figure out what interval should they check or empty their catch can. Well, I have the big UPR catch can, that is the remote mount, it's a, a large reservoir on it, uh, and it does hold, I don't think it would hold twice as much, but I think it holds probably 1.5, one and a half as much as what the standard right behind your coolant tank reservoir that most people have, a uh, UPR catch can would hold. So anyway, that's enough talking. Let's get to ripping this thing off the car and seeing how much oil is in it. So if you've watched any of my other videos, or even if you're new, you can see that I have the UPR remote mount catch can. It uh, mounts right here. And what you do is just take out a one bolt and put it on. I have a, a whole video. I'll uh, throw a link, uh, or not a link, I'll throw a, a card up in. I think it pops up in the right hand corner. Uh, that kind of, you can click on it, it'll link it to that video of the install of this catch can. Uh, but basically, to get it off, it's pretty simple. So all you're gonna do is disconnect this hose and this hose right here. You push down on the tabs and pop them off and take your AC sensor here for your air, air conditioning and this little ditty right here, you unscrew it off and then this whole can will lift off. So I'm gonna disconnect these hoses because I kinda need two hands to get it. Uh, and then I'm gonna get this catch can off. Okay, so I just wanted to show, I got got this off and you're gonna have this little washer here under it. You can take this off without taking this plastic panel off. So get it twisted, pull it out. There right there's gonna be your drain plug on the bottom here. And I'm gonna twist that off and use that bad boy right there to Measure out what comes out. All right, so I'm gonna do a little, a little bit better this time with y'all. And on this side, we got ounces, pint, cups. And on this side over here, just looks like some, some lines on this cheap bastage. Uh, $2, Walmart. So, go ahead, and this is a 10 millimeter on the bottom of this. I'll break this plug loose, and I'm trying not to get this all over my kitchen. But, all right, let's shake it around. That's a little bit in there. Plugs in the center. I believe that's all that's gonna come out of there. Let's 
some more's falling out right now. Well, a little bit ain't gonna make it in there. Clean off where the threads are. Alright, so what we got here is right about two ounces. So I don't drive the car very hard. Uh, I do do some spirited driving every now and then. Uh, I've probably in this little over 2,000 miles, I've probably taken this car to red line probably three or four times. Uh, most of the time it's just cruising around back and forth you know, just driving, normal driving. And we got about two ounces out of it. A level surface here. So it's actually right at two ounces. There might be another drop or two inside the can, but most of it has came out uh, and is in this canister right here. So can this thing hold more than that two ounces? Well, certainly you probably got to about right here before you start running in and interfering, which this can, I can't take it apart. So, uh, you know, if I could take it apart, I could tell you how far down the innards go in this can. If you watch again, my other videos uh, with the non-remote mount cans, you can actually unscrew them to empty them. And it shows, you know, how far down. This one I think has another layer uh, of the filtering stuff. So probably about right here. So I'm imagining this right here was probably up to about right here in this can since it's a little smaller in diameter than what this is. So can it go in between oil changes? I imagine it probably could. Uh, I imagine you're probably safe all the way through the 10,000 mile oil change if that's something that tickles your fancy uh, to go 10,000 miles between oil changes. Uh, one note uh, that I would like to say is if you track your car and you're driving back and forth on the track, I'd empty this before I started a track event. Because even if you just had this amount in here and it's sloshing all around inside of this can through braking, I mean, it could still potentially have a way that would suck a bunch of oil out into your intake at one time. And that's never a good situation. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna clean this can up a little bit, uh, put a little bit of thread sealant here on the bottom side of these threads and uh, put the plug back in and then go put it back on the car. So here we have the can all cleaned up, plug reinstalled. And again, I don't tighten these up very tight. I get them just, just hand tight. Ain't no sense in torquing it down. It just makes it harder to get off. And uh, just slips right back down in here. like so, washer goes on, this cap goes on, tighten it down, I don't like it touching my, my air conditioner line so I always move it away to tighten it on down. And this line here that comes off and goes from into the intake, goes into the side of the can and this line that comes from the PCV and comes over right on top of the can. Don't forget to plug in your sensor here for your AC and that's it. It's as simple as that. So we got about two ounces out and that was from a little over 2,000 miles of driving, just normal driving. And, you know, depending on your driving habits, I think the more you, you spend up close to red line and on diesel, on high RPM stuff, the more you'll probably catch. And each engine is going to be different anyway. So uh, this is just going to give you a good guesstimation of how much oil you can expect to get out of your catch can. And again, this is for the UPR remote mount. And any UPR can catches a fair amount of oil. So I think we're we're set in between oil changes to wait 
and just change the or uh, empty the oil in your catch can during an oil change uh, on any you know UPR catch can full body catch can. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it, each and every one of you tuning in, subscribing. Uh, I promise I'm gonna be getting some more videos here pretty soon. I'll probably work on getting a couple out this week since I'm gonna be off. Uh, just a lot of stuff going on here lately. And you know, that's pretty much all there is to it. But I appreciate everybody watching. Remember to smash that thumbs up button if you liked the video. If you didn't like the video, just tell me why you didn't like the video. Give me some pointers. Give me some way to improve constructive criticism. Thanks, everybody, again for watching.